Everyone is needing cars, so I have good news. Amtrak is getting new long-distance cars to replace Superliners, U-Liner 1s, Blueliner 2s, and Amfleet 2s, which are all getting very, are about to approach their end of reusable service life. So, Amtrak should go to me. There are different manufacturers Amtrak could use, but I think the perfect manufacturer is Alstom could build the new Superliners. Which are currently building those cars for Metro, but it would be the perfect manufacturer to build them. The next manufacturer would be perfect would be would be Siemens to build single level long cars cars to price Anthony twos. The new Vliner cars could be built by CAF. CAF has already built the new cars, so they currently are using Vliner twos, but They've been refreshing every Viewliner and every Superliner. They've been refreshed many times. So they should get the new cars f f in the future. Well, I don't think... I'm not sure which manufacturer can build the cars, but my guess is probably be Alstom. Um, Bombardier and Alstom could build the new cars. And then my guess is that the Siemens, like Statler, could build the new cars as well. Statler is currently building, new, has not been a, uh, an operating new car. Amtrak opened a different tan manufacturers to build new cars, but I mean, those cars could be built in the near future, but we gotta see which ones. Now let's talk about the Amfleet 2s. The Amfleet 2s were a long as car built from the 70s, which entered service in the mid 70s. Currently, they're about to approach their end of their life. They had a great success in Amtrak, but they're getting close to ending their useful life. But, who knows what will happen to them. Also, another thing that's going to happen is Amtrak still finishing up more game, more equipment. So let's take a look at what, at what, about what's going to happen to, if the longest routes you can't have car. The answer is no. Longest routes never use cap cars because... Cab car, they have to do a lot of turnarounds, which are really a great idea because they turn the locomotives around. And it's a better idea if they turn the locomotives because that's an easier way to do it. But anyways, sorry about that. <clears throat> sorry about that. My voice was sounding a little strange, but yeah. So anyway, Amprox should get new cars in the near future, but who knows? You might see new cars on Amprox, but you know these cars... You know, cars are going to be, those long distance cars are very expensive to get. Those will be very expensive for Amtrak to do. Amtrak should have to do a lot of money in order to get those new cars. Anyway, so, so that's a lot of things that's going to happen. Sorry, my voice is sounding a little strange. <coughs> Sorry about that. My voice sounds a little strange because, you know, I've been coughing a lot. That's how I, because I have allergies and I'm getting, my voice is sounding a little strange, so... So anyway, so more news will be coming soon from Amtrak. We have more long news in the long or pretty soon. Now I've been talking about other progresses that Amtrak team such as getting the new long distance locomotives, LC versions replacing P forty twos, the new SLO train sets, Amtrak will be seeing greenhouse gas emissions by twenty thirty five. Fine, either going to electrify or battery, which would really work for Amtrak if to get rid of diesel, but since there's currently the new aero frame sets, which are going to be coming soon, soon, um, the new available delivery train entry in the Acela, more stage retro cars entering service, and and finally, the new cab cars. Also, I also have another news at Ampar. I someone just spotted uh, a stage retro cab car for an SC544 style cab car at Siemens Mobility. Which are ready, ready to replace the Amtrak crews on Amtrak California trains, which are getting ready to do that. But that's right. this is another episode of Amtrak I'm doing. You know, so which routes will be getting the long? Well, there are many routes. There's a Silver Star, Silver Meteor, Crescent, Scent, Coast Starlight, um, Southwest Sheep, Texas Eagle. Eagle, Eagle, Sunset Limited, uh, and, um, what else is on there? Oh, don't forget, Cardinal, Lakeshore Limited, 
capital on your name, city of your own, out of rain, and and many or room. Oh, what else? Oh, Sawatch Sheep and the and the Empire Builder. That's all the roots I can get. But more long distance roads are expected to be built in the near future. But anyway, we're taking more long distance roads in the future. Amprox also getting the new golf course for back on service, but we should see them. Those stars are about to push their the long distance roads are about to push their So that's really good news. I'm just giving you all you take for granted. So anyway, I just heard that from a real, real, worldwide rail fan who does this one on the railroad. On YouTube, and I also just heard about the new scene. Also, Piedmont check it new equipment team, but we don't see it not yet. But we'll see that pretty soon. Anyway, so that's my that's my trade talk episode. And, and until next time, I mean, Hari. Okay, let me see. Um, thanks for watching this video on this look about the new long distance park for Amtrak. So, if you have any thoughts, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please remember to like and comment down below. Well, give a like or give, leave a comment down below. Until next time, I'm Ian Hari. I'll see you in another line, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.